can see two people carrying a load suspended on a long stick. If the distance from both carriers to the load is the same, it's evident that each of them is carrying half the load's weight. Let's move the load closer to one of the carriers. The question is how the load's weight is distributed between them now. Let's see how the loading is distributed between the two people carrying a load on a long stick. We replace the people with scales, divide the distance between the supporting points into eight equal parts and get an eight unit load. We place it in the middle of the beam. Both scales point to four units. Just as we could expect, both supporting points are loaded equally. Let's shift the load. Now the distance from the load to the supporting points has a 5 to 3 ratio and the scales readings have a 3 to 5 ratio. If the distance ratio becomes 6 to 2, the supporting points loadings will have a 2 to 6 ratio. If the distance ratio is 7 to 1, the supporting points loadings will have a 1 to 7 ratio. We can see that the loading a supporting point carries is inversely proportional to the distance from the load to the point, so a person closest to the load will carry proportionally greater weight. Let's try to figure out why this happens. We dismiss a person and place a prop instead to create a lever. The P2 loading relates to the weight of load P in the same way as the load's arm A relates to the length of the stick L. Now we put back the first person and remove the second one. Again, the P1 loading relates to the weight of load P in the same way as the load's arm B relates to the length of the stick L. Let's put back the second person and see what we've got. Dividing the second ratio term by term by the first one, we find that the P1 loading relates to the loading P2 in the same way as arm B relates to arm A. You can see a beam which is thick on one end and thin on the other. If two people take it by the ends, the loading a person will experience will be two units for one and six units for the other. To distribute the beam's weight between them evenly, they have to be holding it at the points equally distant from the gravity center. The dynamometer's readings have a 2 to 6, that is a 1 to 3 ratio. To find out where the gravity center is, we have to divide the distance between the suspension points in the 3 to 1 ratio. We divide this distance into four equal parts and mark the gravity center. To check it, we place the beam onto two index fingers and start shifting them. The fingers come together in the marked point, which is the gravity center. If one person takes the beam by the heavy end, then the other person, in order to get the same loading, has to be holding the beam at the same distance from the gravity center on the other side of it. We screw a ring into this spot. Hang the beam onto the scales and we see that both suspension points do have equal loading.